So this is a very different um, bag review video, but I have been meaning to do this video for a while and I just have not had the time. So at the moment, my car door is just locked. At the moment, I am waiting for my daughter uh, to get done with an activity. I'm sitting in my car and <laughs> I moved out of the passenger seat so I would have more room. I'm like, I'm gonna do this video now because there's no other time when I really feel that I can get this done and have just like a little bit of quiet and you know, so yes, I am in my car. Yes, my car is an absolute disaster, but I'm doing this video anyway. And the bag that I want to talk about is the Sarah, Sarah, Neil, oh, Sperone, Sperone? Yeah, I think it's Sperone, BB. Anyway, it is this, I will definitely link it down below. It is this backpack right here. Now. I know that this backpack has been on the market since at least 2015 when I first had my daughter. I also know that I have the Palm Springs Mini and a woman my age maybe shouldn't have two mini backpacks. But honestly, this bag is a trooper. It is a workhorse. I have had it for about two months now and let me it fits my lifestyle so incredibly well. And so let me just explain why I love this bag and why I think it's still relevant even after all of this time. Number one, they just came out with a whole bunch of bags in the Damier Ebin Azor. <laughs> Damier Azor print. I think there's like three or four of them that are still technically new. So it's a very relevant print. I didn't like any of those bags, by the way, but it got me thinking about this print because I felt that this is perfect for summer, even though I heard it was created for winter. But I like it for summer. I like it you know, with summer-ish clothing. Um, it is, in my opinion, essentially a bucket bag. <laughs> uh, it's a backpack, but it does have this drawstring here. And yes, you can make it tighter. And I don't know if it's just because this bag is relatively new or not, but it does, I have noticed that the pull string, the drawstring, does tend to come undone ever so slightly over time. Have I had this bag spill? Absolutely. Yesterday it was sitting on this seat right here and it fell over and the stuff that was in this pocket at the time flew out onto the floor. So keep that in mind. But what I love about this bag and why I feel it's so versatile is because it does have this drawstring, you can stuff it to the max and kind of just put this over the top. So when my daughter wants to carry a water bottle, I can put it in here. When she carries a baby doll to the playground and then another kid takes the baby doll and throws it off the top of the slide and she starts crying because she thinks of it like a real baby and she needs me to take it away from that kid and then put it in my bag and hide it so the other kid doesn't find it, yep, the baby doll fits. See, so for me, it totally works because it is so, First of all, yes, uh, so a lot of bags and a lot of luxury bags don't necessarily work for my life simply because small child, number one. Number two, we live in an area that's very close to the beach and it is not unusual for my husband to say we're, we're going to the beach right now. And I know that it's not practical or it's not for everyone to take a luxury handbag, especially one with a microfiber lining like this to the beach, but I do it because I'm, I don't have time to switch out bags. I don't have time to take bags anywhere else. Uh, so yeah, this works and I've taken it to the beach and it has remained amazingly clean, all things considered. So two months, it's been to the beach at least three times. There is sand in the bottom. Absolutely. If I were to try to pull all this stuff out and show you, there you would find sand in the bottom of this bag. It is kind of hard to clean, but I bought it to use it and I'm going to get my use out of it. And it works. Like it's so great to have. It's a mess. It is a total mess. Um, but it works. So here are some of the things that I really like about this bag and how I how I ended up or how I end up using it. Um, one of the things that I love about this is it has this little D-ring in here. So we all know how I feel about the mini pochette. You guys know, like I'm not, 
I've tried, I've tried. I've tried the Chanel O case. I have tried other like little catch-alls. Like, no, it has to be the mini pochette. So I have my mini pochette in here and it is attached. So even if it is a bucket bag, this isn't going anywhere. And this is normally where I house my keys because I'm in my car, but normally my keys do sit in here along with all of my little things like eye drops and chargers and whatnot. So I love the fact that it has that D-ring. No one's getting this out. I put my wallet, which is either a six ring key holder or if I happen to have a lot of cash, only different story, but I have a lot of cash right now. Um, all right, so I'm using this key clay. Um, I just put it in this zipper pocket right up front, and that's the only thing I keep. And this is a very generous zipper pocket. You can fit, it goes all the way. Oh, there's something else in there. There's a receipt in there. Um, so it also has that same interior, that Rose Valerie. Like, it's going to get dirty. I know it's going to get dirty. It's okay. It is what it is. Uh, but it just fits in there so easily. Card holder. I have card holders that I could put in there. Whatever that small wallet is, you can use it. I have, I now have an iPhone 12 Pro Max. I have the biggest iPhone that I'm filming on right now. I have the biggest iPhone for the smallest person ever. It is heavy. It is huge. I love it. But anyway, it fits in here. No problem. I have, I mean, anything that I would want to put in here, there's plenty of room for. There's no room with capacity. This little pocket, I did say that things have fallen out of here, but I have this a hand sanitizer that's the spray that has the kind of more textured lining and I just put that up there and it fits perfectly. I have spare masks and I should probably keep these in the car but all kinds of things in here and I just I love this bag and so yes I take it to the beach. It is a backpack so this one isn't convertible the way the uh, Palm Springs Mini is convertible into a crossbody. You can't really do that with this because it has just one hook back here and then the two hooks down here. So it really is just a backpack. The other one that they have right now in the monogram, can't remember the name of it, but I was looking at that and it does have the two hooks that you could wear crossbody, but realistically, I don't wear my backpacks crossbody. So if that means something to you that you want to wear at crossbody, keep that in mind. This one is not really, I've seen people do it, but I wouldn't, I, I don't know, I wouldn't. You have this, which if you wiggle your hand, like yes, you can get it around your wrist. Seriously, you really can, I've done it. But it just, it looks odd. I don't think that that's what this strap is made for. And let's just be real, I'm probably one of the smaller people um, in our society today. So maybe that's not realistic for everyone, but it, it is a nice little handhold. I do find myself holding it by this, but it's a structured strap. It's not, it doesn't squish down. I haven't had any issues with color transfer. I did not put any kind of guard on the straps or I like things to age naturally. Like me, I'm aging naturally. So is my bag. We're going to age together. <laughs> so I just like it the way it is and whatever road God takes it down is the road it will follow. There's something beautiful about a super old Louis Vuitton aged bag. I think I just, I like that look, the vintage vibe of it. I think it's awesome. So I'm going to continue to use this throughout the summer and it's going to a petting zoo next week. It'll probably go to the beach a few more times. Uh, it's been to work. It became my work bag because obviously we didn't go back to work the way we did previously and I didn't have a whole lot of stuff that I was taking with me. So I just took this. It's great. And I will give you an update in a couple months when summer's over as to how this has held up. But so far, I'm so happy with this purchase. It, it's not easy to get on the website, but it's manageable to get on the website. I saw it come up twice before I pulled the trigger. And the day I pulled the trigger, we were at the playground. I was at the playground with my daughter and 
I just needed to grab things quickly and I had the Palm Springs Mini and it was driving me crazy because of the zipper and so I saw this was available and I don't regret I don't regret that purchase made in the middle of a playground at all I think this is an excellent bag I think it I, I don't know if it's trendy at the moment but I'm making it trendy I'm, I'm making it work for me and I think it works with my style I think you have to be aware of your style and know if this is gonna work for you but I, I definitely think you can pull it off at any age and it it's just so convenient and so easy and I love it so much and I'm gonna continue to use it all summer long and I will give you an update on this bag in a couple of months